Hi and welcome to this uh, Fusion 360 tutorial. Today we're going to look at the final challenge, so the master challenge of the emboss feature. So as you can see in the top uh, left hand corner, we've got a design here which is including a deboss, okay, which is over a double curved surface. And we're going to use the split face technique. So again, if you need any of the files or the completed models, check in the description below. So if we jump into Fusion, so what we're going to do now is create a deboss on a double curved surface because it curves obviously this way and it also curves this way as well. So that's what we're going to do in this part of the tutorial. So I'm going to use this uh, design. I'm going to start from scratch and I'm going to use this design as a or file as reference. So if we go back, we can have a look at how I created this. So I've just created here and if we dimension this, so it's a 70 by 40 millimeters quarter rectangle. So I'm going to click sketch on this work plane. I'm going to go 40 by 70 and use tab to go between the two and click enter. We're going to then go solid revolve. And the profile is the profile selected. The axis is that line there. And we want it to go all the way around 360. So that's what we've got. Okay, at the moment. All right, so what I did then is I added a quite a big, okay, fillet on the top, which is 35 millimeters. And then I created a hole, okay, which is 10 millimeters in. So 10 millimeters in. Okay, so we go to this, F for fillet, okay, 35, and enter. And then I'm going to do so that surface. I'm going to drag that down. Okay, so extrude. So I'm extruding the surface. Okay, minus 10. Click OK. All right, so we've got that uh, revolve done. We've filleted that edge and we've done a simple extrude cut from the top. Next, I've gone into that edge and I've set a equal distance of so 5 by 5 millimeter. Okay, chamfer. So let's select that edge, go to chamfer, okay, five millimeters, equal distance, click OK. What I did next to create this is I have created a sketch, okay, 35 millimeters, and gone in to look, minus 20. So on that surface, click sketch. 35 millimeters, okay, E for extrude, minus 20. Okay, so we've got that internal feature now. I then come along and I did a other chamfer. So again, this time, okay, let's have a look. Three millimeters, equal distances. So edge, chamfer, three millimeters, equal distance, click OK. So you can see quick, we're building up this design. Of course, I'm going quite quick. So if you need to pause the video and uh, you can slow down and uh, watch that at your own pace. And now we've created an offset work plane. So I've gone to construct offset work plane and I've selected this one here. You could get away with selecting that one as well. And I've created an offset work plane. And as long as it's offset from the surface, it's not sticking to the surface or insecting. Okay, so drag that up a little bit. As long as it's there's a distance there, then this will work. And what we're going to do now is let's have a look. I'm going to right click and edit. I've created a the word deboss, and let's have a look at the distance of that line. So 10 millimeters up. Okay, so we're going to go sketch. That plane I've just created. Okay, we're going to go 170, dimension that from the middle origin. Okay, helps if I can count. Okay, there we go. So half of that. And the distance from there to there was 10. So this is just about setting up where you want the text to go. I like to use lines rather than just uh, clicking on text and dragging it around. It's just easier for 
align and things. So we've got text. So you could just do a box and then drag it around, but I'm going to do text and path. Type in here what I want. And then you've got options of fonts, uh, bold, italics, height, okay, spacing, and so on. So depending on what you want, and again, you can go below, above, you can uh, click fit to path, and then it'll stretch it to the size of there. So that's why I dimensioned it. And again, you've got other options near about mirroring and flipping. And go OK. Now, if you need to go back in, just double click on it. And you can go back and edit that in case you've uh, done something wrong and you want to change your font or something. And I'm going to save that. So I've got this word now floating around. We want to now start to get this onto this surface. So what we're going to do next, let's have a look, is I've created a circle on the base. And if we go into here, OK, uh, yeah, so I've created a cylinder. So if we go back in, we're going to go extrude. And let's select that bottom face and spin this around so we can actually see. I'm going to drag this up. And I'm going to click new body. And what we've got here now is a, let's have a look, we've got a cylinder and we've got our body. So I'm just going to turn this one off so we can say, call this um, main part or something like that. And we'll just, and we could call this, we'll call this, uh, just call it tool, like that. <clears throat> so we're going to turn on the tool one. And what I did next, Okay, it is. Let me turn that on, turn that one off. I've, okay, done the, okay, deboss on that surface, like so. Like that. So, what I'm going to do is go back into here. And you might be thinking, well, you might have done that wrong, but you will see what I'm going to do. We're going to go sketch profile, the word, face, that face, okay. And say three millimeters is fine. I don't, I could if I wanted to mess around with where I want that to go, but I want it just to project from the sketch. I don't want it to go anywhere else. I'm going to click OK. So that's now going around that surface, like so. Go back to here, see what I did next. Is, if you turn all these on, I removed, OK, that cylinder. That's quite easy to do. Okay, extrude, I've heard this top surface or the bottom one, drag that so it's going to remove it and go cut. So we no longer have now, okay, the body, which was the cylinder. So I've got all these little called tools now. We can rename them if we wanted to. But we've got all those and we've got the main part like that. So what I'm going to do next is going to use the offset face. And if you right click, okay, what we've got there is I've selected each face and I've offset it going into, so it's sort of intersecting. Okay, and then we can have a look what it did next. We use split. Aha, uh -huh, yes, so try a different technique this time. So if we go to Okay, offset face. So the back of that one, back of this one. So I'm using control, this one, this one. Yep, spin that around. This one here, this one here. And we're going to drag that in. So this goes into the design. <clears throat> so we haven't done it, say, shorter. So we'll just drag that back. It's not gone like that anywhere. We've got a gap or anything. We're dragging that in. So it's uh, intersecting the body. I'm going to click OK. Click on the home button. So what we've got now is this sort of technique. So we're going to now come up to this. And what we're going to do is we're going to use, this time, slightly different technique of what we've done before, is we're going to use the OK split face option. So right click, OK, split face. 
Okay, and then what you'll see, what will happen if I hover over the correct on that, you can see it's sort of projecting in like that. So it projects that surface, so sort of split face. Sure, modify, uh, split face. Okay, face is two split, this one. Splitting tool, that S. Okay, if it just clicks the surface, just rotate it, and what we're after is not any of these surfaces, we want the full body like so. And click OK. And then we need to repeat that, so right click. So this is what we want to say, this is the tool, we want the entire thing, click OK. And what you'll start to see here, if we hide whoop, some of these, you could start to see the projected in there like that. So right click again. Okay, and I'm going to select the face, this one, the tool, this body, click OK. And on here, that one again, tools, we've done the B. Right, fusion catch up. Right click again. Oh, don't, sorry. Right click again and go. Ah, sometimes it'd be annoying if you miss click like I just did. Okay. So split face again. This one. Two is the entire E. Okay. Right click again. Repeat. Okay. The reason I'm right click is just a shortcut rather than going to talk. I'm just being a bit lazy. So faces, this one. Split the tool, the D, and click OK. And then we can hide the so like so. So what we've got now is we've sort of we haven't quite embossed it, we haven't quite debossed it. We sort of projected that onto that surface. You see here if I zoom in, okay, it those are letters or whatever, not sticking out, but at the same time they're not going in, so not embossed or debossed. So what did I do next? So I've gone along and done all that. Okay. And again, like I've just done, if we add all them, got the same thing. Now the last bit I did was to use, okay, if we go to edit, all right, we've got minus two. This means we can do this all in one go. So this is offset face this time. So we go into modify, offset face. Select, be careful to select each one, don't obviously select this. Go along, turn around. Okay, distance, don't know what you want, so like minus two, and then click OK. And as you can see, now we've got, okay, that eboss going into the design. So that is a slightly different technique than my other video where I showed you how to do that around a spherical shape. So that's a slightly different way of doing it. And again, if you want to, you could go back into any of these features and change the, uh, okay, the word or the depth of that actual, you know, removing that material. You could go back in and edit any of those particular features or dimensions. Thanks for watching. And if you found this content helpful, please click like and subscribe and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.